Levioso. Depulso. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Accio. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hello there, nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lord Gog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lord Gok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, Please, give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Hello, good to see you outside the castle. You too, Amit. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. You look familiar. Hello, Lord Gok. Serona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus. 
in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Ertgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizardkind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Confringo! Expelliarmus! Incendio! Revelio! Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? Handy resource indeed. Your I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Ertgot is an ancient and storied relic. Forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it.
It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to... Revelio. It's sealed. Merlin's beard. Revelio. Lumos. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Lumos. Lumos. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Incendio. Protego. They're certainly persistent. To Bolso. Incendio. Depulsor! Protego! Accio! Depulsor! Incendio! Protego! Depulsor! Incendio. Depulso. Lumos. Accio. Mm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Confringo. Depulso. Lumos.
Lumos. Akio! This has a moth imprinted on it. Same as the door. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Also. Lumos. Revelio. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Depulso. Down I go. No other way. Oh, oh, Revelio. Also, Akio. Oh. Revelio. Incendio. Also, Protego, Incendio, Akio, Depulso, Incendio, Stupid. Incendio. 
Incendio. Protego. Stitch it one. Incendio. Incendio. Confringo. Lumos. Depulso. This looks even more complex. To Bolso! Lumos. Revelio. To Pulso. Lumos. To Pulso. Lumos. Depulso. Lumos. Also. Lumos. The witch's final resting place. Lord Gok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord Gok won't like this. Better show this to Lord Gok. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Confringo! Expelliarmus! Lumos! Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
There they are. The Ashwinders. No. You're going to regret that. Incendio, I've seen your magic. My one! You... Your life ends here. Confringo, oh, wanna look up? Expelliarmus. Uh, Expulso! You wanna play like that, do you? <laughs> Incendio. Now to finish the job. Confringo. Expulso! Expulso! Thought you could hide from me! Expulso! Stand still! Admirable trick! Expulso! Clever! Cutting Expelliarmus every time! Confringo! Expelliarmus! Expulso! Nuisance! That's what you are! Incendio! Flash of inspiration! Protego! Avoiding our problems. You die for that. Can what are you? Stupid. Protego! Confringo! Expelliarmus! One less foul hulking brute. Revelio! Revelio. That's it. This is for Rookwood. I'll make you. Win. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Protego. Protector. Uh, you're the one who released Treadwell. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Protego. Expelliarmus. And I haven't even had Nebuso. a tea yet. <laughs> That's the best. Head in the clouds, this one. That's proper feeble, that is. Protector! You'll feel that tomorrow. <laughs> if you lost that long. Expelliarmus! You haven't the knack at all! Incendio! Disarm <laughs> you can't hold out forever. Protego! Confringo! Clumsy little fool! Let you can fit and dodge it with your skills, you aren't you, sweetheart? No. I'm not done with you. Better luck next Incendio. time. If you haven't got a prayer, that's just Protego. fearful. Protector! Not so tough now, are you? Incendio. Protector. Accio. Incendio. Pay for your deed. Protego. Oh. Incendio. Uh. Novice <laughs> luck. Accio. <laughs> Come on, you can your friend. Uh. Shame nobody saw that.
wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the... It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be alone. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Brilliant. How 
did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? I don't need extra work to become a better flyer. You may not realize it, but steady practice and discipline will undoubtedly improve your flying skills. I would not assign you work that I did not believe was beneficial to you. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here. before taking it out into the world. Glacius! Protego! Glacius! There you go! Catching on quickly. Confringo! Glacius! I think it's learned its lesson. Depulsor! But do continue to practice as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool. Levioso! Glacius! I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in mid- Glacius! Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. I've seen worse. Akio. Nothing to it. One for the ages. Akio. Come on, Leander. Oh. Akio. How do you do that? Wait, did I win? I won! <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on... Care to go again? Another time, perhaps. Can't say I blame you. Perhaps come back when you're a bit more prepared to beat someone of my skill.
Depulsor. Levioso. Incendio. Glacius. Confringo. Exp <sighs> Incendio. <sighs> Protego. Confringo. Stupid one. Glacius. Incendio. Confringo! Glacius! Incendio! Protego! Stupid! Confringo! That was a close one. Glacius! Glacius Incendio Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. These rocks have seen better days. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Confringo! Levioso! Repairo! Nice of you to stop by. Incendio. Glacius. Incendio. Critego. Glacius. Incendio. Confringo. Revelio. Off on another adventure. It's like a place right out of a storybook. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are.
My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <Please. laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. I adored teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he... Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of... I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. 
I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Glaciers! How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only the wizard is a dead wizard. Potato! Confringo! Stupid! Crap coming here. Let's get this over with. No! Levioso! Incendio! I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out. Racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. Shall we have a look around? 
Revelia. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. Depulso! Repero! I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Revelio. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Revelio. Reparo. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Revelio. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl, and a drought. The Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the Vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Depulsa! Huh, a stairwell. Repairer. Incendio. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. To Balsa! Ah! 
Accio. Depulsa. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Depulsa. Levioso. Lumos. Depulsa. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway? I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the Keepers. I've been thinking. A Keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. I'll be in touch. Till then. Revelio. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. 
pleasant little breed. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beast's class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She... Precisely what Deke was thinking. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially... It will be nice to keep them. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knaps... All right. Revelio. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobanol, perhaps. Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hog. Deke will meet you there. <laughs> if 
everything's all right now. 